Hi Taurus, and this is a general reading uh, for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign, and we can get a sense of the messages and insight and anything to be aware of for Taurus in July. And uh, let's just see what is on in store for Taurus. Okay, so give me a second to take a look here, and we will go from there. Okay, so for this beginning, we're starting with the Empress, with the mother, the mother of our earth. And as you see in this illustration, she's sitting on her chair. She has a very soft cushion that she's resting against. She has beautiful uh, wheat, perhaps, and abundance of nature behind her. And is sitting very um, relaxed and contented, I would say. So with the Empress, the Empress represents love. It represents this feminine energy. It represents creativity, fertility, and expression. So when we see the Empress in a reading, it's a sense of paying attention to, you know, your creative, uh, ideas, your dreams, your intuition, because, uh, you know, the Empress is often associated with motherhood. And as we know, giving birth, uh, to a child is a pretty big creative endeavor. And so we can also be giving birth to ideas or new approaches or, uh, different ways to solve problems that appear in our life. But this is a a time of abundance for you in July. It's a time to gather up your, re your reserves, uh, to, to rest and enjoy, to find some peace in being nature and in, in nature, excuse me. And perhaps the Empress represents a uh, strong maternal person in your life who is someone that you might go to for advice and, uh, a little love and TLC because that's what the Empress is going to bring to, to you in July. So this can represent someone near and dear to you, the energy of loving, compassionate, nature, loving, creative, uh, looking out for others. Now this could be you or someone, um, having those attributes. Interestingly, Along with that, we have the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is another feminine energy who is, uh, pays attention to emotions. In July, it seems that some emotions are going to be part of your, the fabric of that month for you, and that you're going to be listening to your emotions or checking in with your emotions or uh, perhaps letting them guide you in some decisions that you're making. And, um, you know, there's a balance to be had with emotions. As long as you put them in the right place and use them to your advantage versus letting them overtake your sense of reasoning. You know, I think the queen of cups, again, it's another card of intuition of trusting your instinct, trusting your, your gut, of listening to the emotional voice within inside, inside of you. That's what the queen of cups is giving in, in tandem with the empress, which is this loving energy, someone who's a good listener, someone who was going to be there for you. Perhaps you're going to be there for someone, but this is a very positive emotional experience or component of July for you. And we now see the, the six of swords. And when we look at the six of swords, we see the uh, oarsman driving this hooded person and looks like a young child away. And as you can see, they're leaving rough waters here to move on to smoother waters. So calmer waters. People often refer to this card as maybe as a, I've had enough and I'm getting out of here. Can't take it anymore. The situation has unfolded where I feel that I have to leave or I feel that I 
I'm stale where I am and I need to move on to a different place, maybe a new location, it could represent a new job, it could represent a new relationship, but it hasn't been working out for you where you have been. So this is a card that's saying go, um, take the step and to move out. And what's always interesting about this card is that, again, the duality of it. We see the strong oarsman who is assisting someone, um, making a clear break, clean break perhaps. Or do you resonate with the couple in the little boat that's being, um, you know, rowed away? So this is a card where perhaps things haven't been as fulfilling as you had hoped they would be or satisfying. And you just feel the sense that you have to get up and go. With the Six of Swords, this could also at a literal level just suggest that you're going to be going away in July. That you may be, you know, see what it is. Maybe you're going to be on the water and doing some boating. And that's just a very literal read. But you can see in the card it was calm versus rough waters. It's a sense of, of leaving to get to a better place. And as you're leaving, the, you know, this page of pentacles is here to help you. This page is a youthful person who is standing there and he is, has his pentacle in his hand and he's not in motion. He's just kind of still and observing it. And these are the qualities of pentacles and of pages, which is, it's this youthful enthusiasm for studying a youthful enthusiasm for learning and to taking in knowledge. This means that you're going to be perhaps studying a situation very carefully. You're going to be taking your time in making decisions because with the pentacles, there's a sense of um, slow moving, cautionary, not going to take wild risks or jump into thing with it without thinking about it through. And you know, these uh, pentacles and page of pentacles are dedicated workers. So maybe at the office, you're going to be uh, really buckling down and getting things done. Um, pages could represent energy that you need to draw from. It could also represent someone youthful within your circle, within your career, your family, that has this very slow and steady and successful approach. I mean, they're building a path for future uh, abundance with pentacles and finances through very careful study and diligent hard work, page of pentacles, dependable people, people who are going to, that you can rely on when you, when you need something, they're there for you. And then we have the eight of pentacles. And again, it's more, um, uh, confirmation of, of working hard toward financial goals. We see this young apprentice here who is working so hard on the pentacle, doing the best that he can do. And he's hanging these pentacles on the tree for everyone to see. He's not interested in the people behind or the town behind. He's just got his head down and he's working really hard because that's what he enjoys doing. And this is a card of being a skilled artisan, a skilled craftsman. You are perhaps an apprentice, but you are gaining knowledge. And this can indicate that you could be taking classes, um, you know, getting more certifications or just building your skill base, improving your skill base, perhaps working with a mentor who could help you. And it looks like it could be someone, a mentor who will be helping you. But, um, you know, this is that you may not be feeling that you're getting your just rewards right now. But you will, you will eventually get that recognition and the financial success that comes from being such a diligent, hard worker who's not distracted. Within this card, um, at this point of this apprentice, is that, uh, you know, he's not letting things get in his way. He has extreme focus. And that focus leads you to a very good place. And along with this Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, I feel that um, this Hierophant is here to help you. The Hierophant represents traditional thinking, conventions, norms, could be religious organizations, can be 
people who are experts. It could be someone more experienced at your, at your job who's going to take you under their wing and help you. So this can benefit you here with your career and perhaps this Hierophant figure wants you to take additional training, wants to send you to a conference. Um, in your personal life, this could represent getting some uh, insight from counselors or clergymen or you know accountants, whatever it may be, teachers, professors, people who have experience. And this is actually a group card. If you look closely, below the Hierophant are two monks paying attention. And again, a, he has his staff, looks like a staff in his hand and, and the fingers up. And it's about decisions and knowledge and imparting knowledge. So you will be able to take advantage of additional knowledge and expertise and guidance in July. And it's going to help you with your finances, with your career, with whatever plans that you have in place for new ideas, um, for perhaps new locations, new positions within the company. And ultimately it's going to lead to a lot of celebrations. Uh, this is a three of cups and you can see the three ladies toasting and there's abundant flowers below them. And this is a card of, of great happy spirit and joy and celebrations. And, uh, this, this represents those who love you for who you are. People who really appreciate you for what you offer in an authentic way. They're your friends no matter what. They're going to be there for you. They're going to be the ones that you can call late at night when you have a problem. And here you're just toasting to the happiness within your life. And so whether it's a holiday celebration, maybe it's a happy hour after work, maybe it's a wedding or a birthday party, there's going to be a time for you to, to enjoy and to be with friends and to have that great feeling that uh, deep friendship brings people that you enjoy being with and likewise who enjoy being with you. You have the opportunity in July for some social celebrations and a wonderful card to have within your July reading. And it's the Ace of Swords. And an ace in a reading, an ace is really a gift, a blessing or an opportunity from the universe to you. And you can see that the hand here is holding out this sharp blade and the blade is piercing the crown, really the crown chakra. And this is a card about ideas and intellect and reason and taking the time to use both sides of this blade to analyze an issue or to come up with new ideas that uh, you've maybe held in your heart for a bit, but now it's time to take them out and to be, be um, upfront about getting them maybe in play or in, into uh, operation. You know, this is a calling to you to, to take your innovative thinking, to bring it to another level. And if you are having to deal with a situation that requires some deep thought, that requires clear communication, that requires a sense of fairness, maybe there's a legal situation that you're having to face, the swords is telling you to, to use both sides to do your due diligence, look carefully, and to understand what's going on. Just don't casually take anyone's words, look, look at the fine print. You know, be mindful before you sign anything. Um, this is a card that also says that you, you know, when things happen that are challenging in your life, that you're going to have the strength and the firm grasp on this blade to cut through, to be strong enough to wield it, to really manage the situations. So this is really quite a, I think it's a significant card because it's a very powerful card of having intellect and reason and that sharp critical thinking and communication and truthfulness. It's just matter of fact, here are the facts that you're going to have to rely on. So let me just take a look here to see if there's anything else that I could be overlooking. 
And, you know, we have a sense of, of mother feminine energy that really understatedly is about creativity. And we have a sense of an emotional experience that's going to help you of listening to your intuition, trusting your gut, uh, trusting your feelings and being confident in your feelings. And those feelings could lead you to travel or to new locations, new opportunities, new relationships. You're maybe trying to get away from some tricky situation that you've been in and hoping to get to a um, easier and more balanced um, place. The Page of Pentacles is going to help you plan and study and understand and to, and to move cautiously but wisely through situations. In with respect to career, you are on track, you're doing a super job, you enjoy what you're doing, and you take your time and produce a quality product. And that will pay off in the end for you. And you have the opportunity perhaps to work with a mentor, to work with someone who is more experienced, who can give you very good advice, good counsel. And all of this interesting things that are happening in July are going to lead to celebrations, the Three of Cups great celebrations with your friends or family and toasting the good life that you're creating and your abundance and how lucky you are to have people who care for you. And then the Ace of Swords about um, really novel ideas using your logic, your reason and your analysis to approach a new problem, be, be creative, perhaps it's coding or something related to engineering, but there's a lot of um, analytical thinking behind this. So very interesting. And let's pull an Oracle card and get a little additional guidance in July. And this is the Soul Trees Oracle. Try not to drop it. Okay. And this is Card of Rebirth beautiful illustration and rebirth can come through in uh, many different ways. You could be having again, new ideas that are coming through. You could be leaving and kind of getting, setting up in a new location or a new position within your firm or freelancing, going out on your own could be leaving a relationship, but a sense of rebirth can, can appear in many different forms. And it seems that if your rebirth is going to be well thought out and well planned with some solid uh, practical thinking from the page of Pentacles and some experience behind you guiding you. So that's quite interesting with that card. And let's take a look at some love and see if what we have for love for July. This is, whoops, the uh, whispers of love. Oracle. And this is appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And that's certainly true. And um, it's a beautiful card and it's something that uh, people should always think about, which is that you never know when a soulmate could turn up for you or a twin flame. You never know when you're going to make that connection with someone. Uh, it could be at the gym. It could be at the grocery store. It could be at a coffee shop. It could be um, getting your driver's license renewed. Any place is open as long as you have your eyes open and your heart open and you're willing to receive that love is out there. And it doesn't have to be just a physical or romantic love. It could be love of friends or family, or perhaps you find a uh, hobby that you love that brings you so much happiness and joy. Love is out there. You have to just be open to going and trying to uh, let it come to you and let it find your heart. And I think it's a powerful message of, of opening your heart and being aware of having that self-awareness. If you are already in a relationship, it could be just love for children, love for seniors, of helping others 
who maybe could use a little extra love or help or of service. So for July, look that you have a lot going on in your favor. I hope that you have a super July. And if you enjoyed this reading, please like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to stay connected and to show support. And I do appreciate it. And I wish you the very best and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.